Hi YouTube, this is KevRev7 back with another tutorial. Today I'm going to walk you through how to do extended ACLs. Um, I've taken the liberty of setting up this network for you already. We have uh, management, which is blue, uh, guest, which is yellow, sales, which is green, and service, which is orange, and service holds the web server. Um, we've also got a serial link um, connecting both of the routers um, and our goals for today are to block the guest network which is yellow from having any access to the web server we then want to uh, block sales which is green from having uh, the ability to telnet to R1 and um, escalate their privileges and uh, change configurations on the router and then third and finally we want to uh, prevent the management which is blue uh, from having any outside communication with any of the other networks uh, except for the ability to communicate with the web server so um, with extended ACLs you always configure them closest to the source and um, with standard ACLs it's always closest to the destination so uh, if I were you, I'd just pause the video right now, just take a few minutes to familiarize yourself with uh, what's going on here. Uh, look at the network addresses and everything. But right now I'm going to show you that this network is functional. I'm going to ping from uh, PC1, which is management, to PC2 in sales and just show you that it is working. First packet will drop, and then the other three will come through. It's the way the first ping always works. I'll show you now. First one goes through. Okay, let's see if we can uh, access the web server from guest network, which is PC3. Oops. Let's see if we can do that. 172.68.1.33. Okay, so we can access the web server. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with the first ACL now. I'm going to prevent guest network from having any uh, access to the web server. So, well, it can't. It, sorry, let me clarify. I'm going to prevent the guest network from having um, access to the internet. However, it can still um, ping the web server, if that makes sense. Password is Kevin, in case you're wondering. Um, let's see. Okay, access list. Um, can you specify your access list number? You can use anything from 100 to 199. Then you can say deny or permit. Uh, I'm going to say deny. Then you can uh, choose your protocol. I'm going to choose TCP. Uh, your source address, which is 192.168. Uh, uh, 5.0 um, and then your wildcard mask which is 0.0.255 uh, and the way I got that was uh, just 255.255.255 uh, subtract 255.255.255.0 um, which is the wildcard mask for the guest yellow network and that gives you 0.0.0.255 in case you were wondering and if you ever need to do the uh, wildcard mask for any network that's what you do 255 255 255 255 subtract the subnet mask and you'll always get the wildcard mask okay uh, then then we're going to say um, the destination um, which is in this case is only one server so you don't have to use the wildcard mask you can just say host and then the IP address so host um, 172.168.1.33 and then you say equivalent to and then you choose your TCP um, number that you want to use in this case it's going to be Telnet I mean not Telnet sorry it's going to be World Wide Web HTTP and it's going to be uh, 80 we're going to use 80 okay then you want to say um, permits oh sorry access list 110 permit 
uh, RP any any and if you don't do this uh, essentially you're just shutting down the interface on whatever um, interface you access access the ACL on so you need to do that um, so in this case closest to the source is going to be FA10 and we're blocking this network remember and we're blocking it to the web server so int FA10 RP access group you say specify the ACL number and then um, in so it'll be blocked if any uh, any form of HTTP re request is sent out uh, towards this destination address this um, router will pick it up and just stop it right there and, and it'll um, prevent it from going all the way across the network and getting stopped if you were to put it over here and it saves on uh, convergence time and that sort of thing so let, let me just show you that it is getting blocked it's not getting through as it was before it, it should say request timeout over here if it were, yeah request timeout I can show you in the simulation mode really quickly here's TCP packets it's being sent, gets to R1 and gets dropped. RCMP is sent back to tell you uh, request time dot. Okay, so uh, you can see that works. Uh, let me just show you one other thing before I carry on. If you go show uh, run and you go to interface FA10, you can see we've activated uh, RP, the ACL 110 on the FOSS uh, Ethernet 10 and if you were ever like oh what's 110 again you can just keep on scrolling down to the bottom and it'll tell you 110 denies TCP from this source to this host equivalent to uh, www which is internet uh, HTTP sorry and then um, you know then you say permit everything else so although we can't get to the web server I bet we could probably still ping the web, web server because we only uh, blocked HTTP, so let's see if we can ping the web server. Yep, we can ping the web server still, so that still works. Let's see if we can ping another network. Let's see if we can ping uh, uh, sales one, uh, PC2. Yep, we can still ping that. Okay, so that works fine. Now let's see, so, so goal one is complete. Let's go ahead and um, prevent uh, Telnet to R1. Let's see if we can Telnet to R1 first of all. So Telnet, uh, the IP address for R1 is 0.0.1. .0 yes, Kevin. And now you can see we've got full, uh, if we knew the password, we would have full, I mean, we could do whatever we wanted in R1. We could change anything we want. Show run. I mean, we've got full access to everything. So um, I'm going to start moving a little bit quicker now, and um, you can just follow along. I'm going to prevent that from happening. So I'm going to use access list 20. Um, I'm going to deny uh, TCP uh, from 172.168.1.0. Uh, to a wildcard mask is 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.31 remember what I told you, just take subnet mask, subtract uh, I mean take uh, full 255 and subtract subnet mask and you'll get that um, and then to any equivalent to uh, 23 which is telling it oops 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 there we go, 120. See, it was this. It, it I immediately uh, thought it was a standard ACL instead of an extended ACL. So I'm kind of glad that happened. So there we go, that worked. Um, access list 120. Remember, I told you you got to permit any or else uh, the interface won't work. Then it's closest to the source. Closest to the source. 
um, art key access group um, 120 is the name of the ACL and in okay let's see if this works I've got to speed up because I'm just running out of time here okay well let's try from PC7 because I said the whole sales network should be able to trying trying and it's not working and the reason it's not working is Chris remote host is not responding so let me show you what I mean by that let's do a simulation it's always the best to give demonstration so capture forward capture forward and it's getting blocked right there it's not even getting to R1 because R2 is picking up that it's trying to get um, art using the pro protocol TCP telnet, so it's just blocking it straight away. So finally, okay, so that works. You can see. Um, I bet I can still uh, ping PC one. Let's see if I can. Yep, still works. So um, ACL just blocks uh, telnet to R one, which is great. So now we want to block uh, everything from. Um, management but we want to let management still access the web server so let's do that um, let's use 150 permit TCP uh, host um, source 172.168 dot one dot thirty three to any um, and we're gonna do access list one fifty um, dinar uh, RP any any so deny everything else except for the web server um, and we want to do it on the interface if a zero zero which is over here we're activating on this interface and this time we're going to say instead of in we're going to say out okay let's see if this works so uh, we want to be able to we don't want anyone else to communicate with blue except let blue communicate with the web server so let's, first of all let's see if we can communicate with the web server I really hope we can <laughs> Yes, we can. Voila. Good. Um, let's see if we can communicate with uh, PC2. Nope. Not working. So it's working. The ACL is working. Uh, when I said it's not working, I mean, nope, it's not working. It's not able to communicate with anyone else. So essentially, it actually is working. So let me show you um, in simulation mode. Oops, it's not working right now. Okay, it's not letting me show you in simulation mode for some reason, it's frozen. But uh, you get the gist, everything worked um, out as planned. I hope this tutorial is really helpful. Please subscribe if you have any uh, requests, comments, anything you would like to see in the future. Leave them in the comment box below and just uh, I'd really appreciate it if you rate this uh, tutorial. Thank you very much.